We've known Brian Banks for a very long time. Oh, yeah. This is a crucially important story. How did you get involved with the, with the project here, Greg? Yeah, you know, I, I listen, I, I'm not sure. You know, Brian's story was out there. It was a national story, obviously. Right. But, you know, it wasn't something that I ever really knew that much about. So it was really through the, the script, which uh, sort of, you know, obviously blew me away. It was so powerful. And, and then I heard Tom Shadiak was directing it, who did... You know, all sorts of, like $2 billion of giant Hollywood comedies. Right. And I was like, the script is not very funny. Right. Uh, but he, uh, you know, he had gone through this, like, transformation himself, wanted to do a, a, a meaningful story. He's a great storyteller. And he sat down and we talked about the, you know, the story. He kind of walked me through what had happened with Brian, how the Justin Brooks, who I play, involved with the California Innocence Project, had come together. Um and and I was just so taken with the the whole story of of this wrongful conviction of the 16 year old kid thrown into prison system. They, you know, he got a he got a plea bargain that put him in jail for six years. He missed um, an incredible football career, I think. No doubt. And, um, you know, it was a little bit off the grid because, as I say, I play a guy who, who ran this organization where they would take people who are in prison and get them out. And in the case of, of Brian's story at this point, he was out of prison. He had served his six years and he sort of made the plea that he needed, you know, he wanted to obviously get this, uh, this parole revoked and kind of get the case overturned so that he could get the ankle bracelet clipped off, be able to be able, go and play football and pursue his dream. So, um, I, I was just taken with the whole story, obviously. So, um, what was it like playing, uh, I assume you spoke with Justin, right? Did you connect yeah, with him at all? Yeah, of okay. course. I started down at the... Uh, he te in addition to running this thing and starting this thing, he, he's also actually just a professor at the you know uh, University of uh, Western uh, School of Law down in San Diego, and he was nice enough to let me go hang out in his law class. Right. I was the stupidest guy in the classroom <laughs> for a few days, just kind of watching him do his thing. And and just hanging out with them. And, and I know you had Aldis here who, yep. who became very good friends with Brian. And, you know, both these guys were there on the set a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, and it was just a great resource. You know, you know, you're uh, that's something you don't normally get as an actor. You're able to just look to the guy and say, how did this happen? Right. And I think the movie succeeds in a sense that when you watch it. I think the audience, they know audiences know when a movie's working, because they're saying, this is how it happened, whether it's a fictitious story or nonfiction story, they sense when something is real, when it's not. And I think, I think we really got the bones of the story right. Oh, you know, I mean, there's no question about it. Almost to a, a point where I'm watching it and I was genuinely concerned because this is such an important story that uh, Greg Kinnear here on The Rich Eisen Show talking about Brian Banks and the, the Brian Banks movie here is that I was genuinely concerned that people would think that some of this stuff was made up because it's so right. outrageous right. that this happened to Brian and then the big break being him looking down at his Facebook page and the the girl who accused him falsely of rape just said basically, hey, what's up? How you been? Right. Just out of the blue. It's 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 you, un, it's not to be believed. You couldn't write it. Right. You know, in fact, when I read this, the script originally, I literally thought, well, even if this wasn't true, even if this wasn't populated with real people and facts, right. this would be a hell of a movie, uh, <laughs> right. if you could believe it. Right, I know, so right. So in, in truth, it, it, the truth is it actually needs the truth to back it up, because you're right, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a crazy story. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live, or download The Rich Eisen Show app.